some people trash. Welcome, player! I've been waiting for you. Let's get down to business. What you're about to witness is unlike anything you've seen before. It is the dawn of an era. The beginning of something and the death of many more. The wheel of events is already in motion. There is no going back now. So, are you ready? <laughs> Sorry, but you got no say here. Just keep your eyes peeled for the ride and make it through to the end. Whatever happens, this is just a game. By the way, name's Foam Gun. May this be your first step into our otherworldly domain. Let's get this party started! Break a jam! A turning point. A moment in time when you look back and wonder, how the hell did I become this? Sleepwalking at light speed, I finally caught up with myself. Have I reached the peak of all I could ever be? Am I stuck on a looping mistake? Well, I guess you found your answers. It's about time I looked for mine. Hey, kiddo. How you holding up? Great, dude. Good to hear, cause I'm about to crap my pants. How the hell do you manage that? Yeah, years of hardship, training mind and body, and a jar of chamomile. Well, just keep your crap together. You can always bail out if things get too messy. You really sure about this? I bet you this pile of junk is worth some good pennies. Ain't too late. Come on, dude. It's for GW. He wouldn't leave us the big guy for no reason. I know, I know. It's just that... Scrap that. Where the hell's Shade? Don't know. He said he was gonna take a leak or something. How long ago? Thirty minutes, give or take. Ah, oh, damn cat, man! I swear to God, I'm gonna choke that bastard dead. Crap, kiddo! It's time! Buckle the hell up, and good luck out there.
Come on, kiddo. You gotta get in there. Move that pile of junk, for crap's sake, get in range! Come to Papa Boyle. Kiddo, but don't lose track of your ammo. Bringing a damned gun to a fist fight, you nuts, punk ass, shameless cheater. I ain't got time to swat your damn flies. You're mine, blondie Cinderella. if you need to. Push it away! Oh, sure hope that knucklehead's keeping an eye on his MP gauge. Else the It smells like the god is cooking! And this is all gourmet a la Parma... Oh, I got a bad feeling about this. Oh, we should have sold that. What a way... My bloody think box! Just kidding, I'm better off without it anyway! Now's the time your mother has eat you on this, you sh- Tell her that trash! Ah, uh, the dream is over. That another week of chugging down toilet water? What's that? Oh yeah, my cell phone. Shade? Sorry, dude. He ain't picking up. Pineapple's got a problem with phones. Childhood trauma. Now, if you'll excuse me. Please, mister, call him again. Please call him again. You sure you want to do that right now? It's the only time. No can do, pal. This is a breach of contract. Sue me. I assure you, this is in your best interest. We're here to make things easier for you. Think of it as foreplay. It's actually so nice of me to throw you a lifeline. So when it all goes to shit, you'll drown alone. 
by your own fault. Last chance. Call the hillbilly and have him throw this fight. What do you say? I can't give a shit. If these are the cards you're dealing, we shall go all in. Hey, killer! Let's beat this hippie up. Why are you people always such assholes? You know what, moron? From the primordial soup to the fall of great civilizations, and now, just over the edge of the 21st century, your lifestyles have evolved in so many ways, but you people, you were assholes back then and you're still assholes right now. Do you know what the pinnacle of human evolution is? C4, plastic, reliable, explosive. It fits anywhere, in any shape, almost undetectable. Perfect. In my line of work, I usually expect people to cooperate, but as I've stated, people are assholes. And that's why C4 exists. For me to accomplish my fucking job. Now, where's the detonation device? Ugh. Dog humor. Remind me, why the hell do I even put up with you? Psst, killer. Blow the hillbilly up. Wait, what? Pineapples? Shade? What the hell happened to your face? I fell. Into a punch? What's up, dude? First, let me brighten up your day. All I remember is that worm god guy. Godworm, you mean. He's dead. What? Heart attack. Got nothing to do with you. What the hell, dude? I remember him coming for me and then... It all went white, like a flash. That was the explosion, I guess. Explosion? Yeah. Seems like we've been sabotaged. Don't ever tell the dog or you're never piling again. How did that happen, dude? I might have sold your fight to some shady guys, but it's all in the past now. Wait, what? Anyway... How's it going, champ? I'm uh, fine, I guess. A little dizzy, that's all. Good to know. The wizard is trying his best to be worried about you, but he's also over the moon, drowning in cash, thanks to your victory. Wait, I won? Seems like it. Dude. Doc said you're mostly all right. Just a few more checkups, but you should be back in the saddle in no time. A few days or so. Where's Duke? Nurse said he was here a few minutes ago. I bet he's back with the cowboy. You know, keeping his hands busy. I better go check on him. He's not gonna like to see me, though. Does he ever? By the way, dude, how's the cowboy? A crap catastrophe! Like a truck loaded with lots of crap crashing into another truck loaded with double the crap! An utterly humongous pile of shit! Oh, I've seen my share of shit back in the day, but this? That's the most gruesome pile of shit I've seen since last Christmas! Calm down, wizard. It ain't that bad. And where the hell have you been? Checking on pineapples. He's good and all. Ready for the next one. Well, that's awesome. Except there ain't shit for him to pilot. Crap. Crap! This rate our winnings... What the hell happened to your stupid butt face? Don't sweat, wizard. Just do your magic. 
my ass like talking to a goddamn cat. You didn't hear shit of what I said. This is a lost cause, cat man. This piece of turd is dead. Maybe we should look for a mechanic. No way. I can screw things up myself and that's free. What do you suppose we do? Damn. Damn you, cat man. I'll fix this piece of crap. I'm gonna need a crapping miracle for it. A miracle and... Ugh. Grab a pen, you worthless piece of duck crap. Spit it. I've got a good memory. You better. Most of the hard frames and steel plates are bent and twisted. Circuits are fried, pistons dry. Secondary engines are busted and the main engine is pure poop. I need a C engine with at least 21 cylinders. Spark ignition, supercharged, DOHC. Double overhead cam, dry sump. And don't you dare bring me a wet sump. This robot ain't nothing short of a miracle engineering. I'm surprised I didn't find any duct tape holding. Oh, yeah. Give me some scraps. Lots of them. Screws, nails, paper clips, whatever. I need a hundred pounds. And duct tape. Twenty-one rolls. That should do it. Noted. So, what are you waiting for? Get out of my face, cat man! Where can I find this stuff? Don't know. Look for a junkyard or something. to the hog's yard, trash. This is capitalism's garden, a place for trade and cash owned by a pig. Watch out for his money draining skills. I hope you two get along. Strayson. She's got a real temper, but ended up being three times regional junk eater champion. My girl is a legend. They even call her the queen of pop, cause of the way she pops the cans. A real beauty. I'm after an engine. Oh, what type? C. Hold your horses. We ain't talking about no car engine there, are we? No, this is for a mecca. A mecca? I see. Well, I don't work with that kind of stuff. Yet. I'm also looking for some scraps. Screws, gears, nails, hairpins, metal bits. That I got plenty of. And duct tape. You don't plan to use those together, do you? Well, what brings a fellow like you to Rain City? Who knows? Shot at a good payday, I guess. Ha! <laughs> Is there a better reason? So, 
You pilot one of those giant robots, don't you? Nope, not the pilot. I just manage stuff, keep things going. Hmm, interesting. Say, I got a nephew who happens to mess with this kind of stuff. He recently got a license for piloting. I'll give him a call. It'd be good for you guys to stay in touch. <laughs> Maybe we can even make some money out of it. Sure. Well, all right then. How much do you need? About a hundred pounds and 21 rolls of duct tape. Will do. Let me fetch it for you. There you go. Nice doing business with you. Uh, by the way, about that engine of yours, I might know someone who'll be able to help. Rumors say she's a witch, though, so be careful. A witch? Yeah, like a twisted hag and all. Crooked nose, black cats and crows. I swear I saw her riding a broom the other night. Anyway, I'll write you the directions. I'm no good with technology stuff. Uh, also, while you're at it, could you uh, deliver something for me? No prob. Great! Nothing better than hard-working youth. You keep at it, you might become a millionaire, son. Uh, let me prepare the package. There you go. Send my regards to the witch. <laughs> Thanks for the help, uh, Mr... Shade. Ah, cool name, son. That's some way to sell yourself. Interesting names keep people curious. Curious people buy stuff, trust me. Well, we'll see you around. Yard trash. Well, it used to be called Scrapyard before the S fell off the sign. Still, there's a lot of cats around here, which means a lot of crap is buried here somewhere. So, the name is still kind of fitting, isn't it? What brings you here, darling? I was told you could help me with a mech engine. Also, I got a package for you. A package? From who? The Bounty Hog. From that pig? Hand it over. Ha! <laughs> That's the best he can do. Lose a pig, bring in a pocket knife to a gunfight. Gosh, it smells like him. 
the hell is it? Trust me, you don't want to know. You're quite the errand boy, huh? Bringing us here, no questions asked. Well, that could be useful. Anyways, Max, right, darling? What is it? Replacement parts? You really deal with this kind of stuff? <sighs> Doesn't look like it, does it? Times are changing, honey. Now, I may have some mileage, but I still know how to ride the flow. Anything you need or want, I can get it for you. That's the ZZ seal of quality. So, what do you need? A C engine. Okay, got it. C type. 21 cylinders, supercharged. Is it a dry sump or a wet one? Sure thing, but I need to know what we're working on here. You got any blueprints for your Mac? Not that I know of. No worries, darling. Can I come over to have a look? No harm in that, I guess. Oh, oh, honey, when I mean to harm, you'll know it. Okay, is it far from here? I'm out of vehicles right now. It's about a seven-minute walk. Not even a warm-up. <laughs> okay, lead the way, darling. What the hell is this mech? What did you say it was again? It's a P1 Gallo 07, ma'am. Call me ma'am again and you'll be the dog in my next hot dog. Sorry. This is outstanding. I mean, the way these circuits are placed, the distribution of weight, and the overall materials. No. All oh, a piece of shit. Huh. You're better off piloting a super-sized trash can. Crap. Ooh. Oh, but I've seen worse, and I have fixed worse. This guy sure is a treasure. I've never seen one in any of my catalogs, and I got them all. Now, he's pretty unique, but like they say, just because you're unique, it doesn't mean you're worth shit. You mean he's a limited edition or something? Oh, not quite. I've never laid my eyes on a wild stallion like this one. It's probably a custom, or even worse, a prototype. How did you guys end up on a date with this? It was a gift from a friend. <laughs> a gift? Oh, what kind of friend gifts a mech to someone? The dead kind. Oh, my apologies. So, I got it. And, uh, what are your expectations for this fella? Let's just say our financial lives depend on it. Well, it'll be a while before you guys can turn this garbage into a lucrative endeavor. But it won a fight already. Wow, it did? It must have been sheer luck. Or you really got an outstanding pilot. Not the latter, I can assure you. Sheer luck it is, then. Now this kind of damage, it was not sustained in the regular sport, was it? It seems to me it was blown from the inside out. Are you aware of any malfunctions? No, there was an accident in our debut fight. Our adversary's arm exploded while striking the chest unit. Oh, I see. Now, who's the mechanic in charge? It's me, ma- uh, uh, sorry. Uh, I'm the one responsible. I'll be working closely with you. I need a whole body scan for a detailed blueprint. After that, we can make a draft for custom parts and any adaptations needed for installing any existing mechanisms. Look, lady, we don't have that kind of cash. Look, dog, you'll have to make do. No one in the world will help you out with this piece of junk. Of course, you can do this by yourselves, but I've had a glance at what you can do, and it's mediocre at best. I don't even want to ask why this fella is carrying around a thousand rolls of duct tape. I'm seriously worried about anyone who would dare to sit in that trap of a cockpit. You should show more respect for someone else's life, killer hound. Killer hound? We'll start tomorrow. I'll need 10 grand for the blueprint, replacement parts, engine, framings, and new circuits. I'll hand you a handsome list. But... 
I'll send the contract by DM. Have it signed by tomorrow morning and send me a copy. All right, darlings. Let's turn this mess into a champion. So, what do you think? What is there to think? I'm signing it. What? How the hell are we supposed to afford it? Besides, that woman is a piece of work. You think so? I think she's lovely. Aw, oh, screw you, cat man. Chill out, wizard. You heard her. She's gonna make him a champion. More like she'll make a chump out of all of us. That's a whole load of cash. Think about pineapples. You really want him going through this all over again? The big guy might be a time bomb. Let's make sure Knife comes back alive. That's why I wanted to sell this crapper from the beginning. Let's just cash in and go on about our ways, split by three. That's got to be a unanimous decision. Pineapples isn't budging, so no deal. We got to do... Hell, Catman. We need a second opinion. Nah. I got a good feeling about her. Witch and wizard working together. Don't you find it fitting? That old piece of hag sure looks like a damned witch. I bet she's a cat person. Couldn't you smell it on her? I got rhinitis. Can't smell for shit. So what's the great plan, Catman? Don't worry, wizard. Just focus on the big guy and leave the rest to me. You better secure another source of income. Ten grand is about all our fight money. It's already taken a bump from our current bills, food and supplies, not to mention the hospital costs. I'm on it. You ain't good for my health. Why the hell am I always broke? Am I alive just to suffer? How are you? I'm okay. A little dizzy, I guess. Something to do with my ears. The doc said not to worry about it, though. Huh, great news. Hey, seems like we got ourselves a real mechanic this time. What? Another one for the team? She's charging hell, but I got a good feeling about her. Nice. What about the cowboy? It'll be back on track in no time. Just leave it to us. Focus on getting the hell out of here. Sure thing, dude. Well, I'll be going then. I'm thinking about hitting the local bar today. Smoking and drinking? You should care more about your life, dude. I am. Hmm. Ah! What the hell, dude? So, that's what it does. Ah! What the hell, dude? So, that...
I'll admit, I'm quite the cat lady. But what else was I supposed to do? They were flooding the streets of Rain City and, well, I got space to spare, so... They're my family out here. Make me company and even guard this scrapyard. <laughs> well, you don't see any rats lurking around now, do you? Sure, they end up eating a lot of my savings, but we're working on that, right, darlings? So, I'm in need of a boy to deliver supply materials. Oh, you can do that, can't you, honey? Just ride that bike over there and get it done before my clients die of waiting. Right, down to business then, honey. You're not gonna regret this. I'm the best one there is. I can assure you that. Now, let's get the paperwork out of the way. Sign here. Here. And here. Done. All right. Now we should start off by fixing that mess in a proper manner. I still got some stuff to do around here. Meet me later at the hangar. I'll walk you guys through the repairing process. And that's how you do it. Got it? Yep. And what about you, killer hound? What? Oh, ah, uh, yes. I got it. You guys focus on getting him back into shape. I can't start working before I see the whole picture. Get rid of these metal bruises and straighten up those frames. I'll provide the needed materials on the spot. Do as you were told and it's gonna be a smooth sail. Well, my job here is done for now. I'll be leaving then. See you around, darlings. You heard the witch cat man. Just remind yourself that every hit will cost us money, so be mindful of your strikes. And also, be gentle. This is not about strength. <laughs> not that you got any. But if you end up damaging it, I'll kill you myself. Wait, I thought you were gonna fix it. I will. 
I just need you to take care of the surface levels. I'll be the one handling the hard stuff. Circuit, structure and such, that's all on me. You're just the makeup artist. I'm the doctor. You're the dermatologist. I'm the surgeon. You're the fly. I'm the shit-eating bacteria diving deep into this wondrous piece of crap. You're a poet. You're a dumbass. Get to work, Catman. And let me know when you want to call it a day. I'll rest for a bit now. Oh boy, Mr. Shade. What brings you to my humble abode? Ah, you're looking for a haven, am I right? Ah, there's the rider nearby. Cool place. I used to be close pals with the previous owner. He sold the bar a few months ago, packed up his things, 
enjoying the breeze in Hawaii now. Can you imagine? Wish I could drop my stuff as well. Just gotta hold on a little longer. Anyway, I'll write you the directions. Thanks. Also, Joy, the new bartender. She's a good kid. You two might get along. Tell her I said hi. His real name is Francis Warhol, though. Just like that dude, uh, Dandy Warhol. He's been struggling with his piece of junk for about a year now. Now, you never heard it from me, but boy, does that mech have some issues. I bought a classic once, a real gem of a car, Endurance. Damn me if I didn't spend four times its value just to get it rolling. And I ended up selling it for half the price. That literally ended my third marriage. A good thing for once. But hell, I'd be damned if the kid hasn't spent twice more than I did on his old ass mech. Anyway, it's a good thing he asked. I just told him about you and he's all fired up. Who knows? I'm even considering holding a match for you guys. I won't make any promises though. Mister, would you be so kind to inform the servant where we are? You lost? Oh, no, mister. This servant is always on the path to greater fortune. This servant has not peed for the entire day. I'm about to explode. Why don't you go to the bathroom? Where? I guess there's one right behind you. Oh, indeed. You speak the truth. You're so very, very kind, mister. You're not gonna go? Where? The bathroom. Oh, no. If this servant perseveres just a bit, two days won't be impossible. I must endure for greater fortune. But thank you so kindly, mister. You're a good mister, mister. Let's just bail before this train derails. Now that's more like it. Welcome to the rider, stranger. I'm feeling at home already. <laughs> Don't hold back. Welcome to the Midnight Rider. Keep an eye out for this one, Trash. Don't stuff your face too much. And maybe you'll get a glimpse of what this place is all about. That juice box is out of commission. It was like that when I arrived. Maybe I can fix it. Huh. Maybe I could pay you for that. We're missing old school music around here. Nobody knows how to play that fucking piano. That juice box. Maybe. Huh. We're missing old. Sorry to bother you. You know anyone that goes by the name uh, Moonshine? Doesn't ring a bell. Huh. Well, thanks anyway. away from the piano now so 
How's the movement around here? Dead. Sounds like a party. Every hour. So what's it gonna be? In fact, I've got a hunch. This one's on the house, stranger. Tell me if it fancies you. All right. What brings a guy like yourself to this rain hole? I came for a funeral. Yeah, that'll brighten up the mood. What about you? I heard you took over the place recently. Try my luck. Keeping food on the table? It's not really my thing, but it gets me to know people, hear stories. I'm in need of that right now. Fair enough. Here you go. One Roman cola coming up. Huh? How is it? Damn, you're good. You seem like a rum and cola guy to me. Me and this drink, we've got history. Cheers, happy 2017. You better drink more than that. <laughs> I got a family to keep. Well, good thing I dropped by to show my support. I'll be waiting. That may be huh. or miss. Done for the day, huh? All right then, let's hit the sack. Tomorrow is another one. My apologies, things got a little out of hand. Who are you guys again? The less you know, the better. We just came to see how you're doing. I was hoping I'd bump into that uh, friend of yours. Jade? Something like that. Well, it was unfortunate our pilot passed away. He had a weak heart from the start. Godworm should not be missed though. He was a seven star criminal. Did you know that? Hmm. Larceny. Fraud, blackmail, robbery, drug dealing, you name it. He wasn't a murderer, though. So, well, put your heart and mind to rest. The world is better off without him. Not that you killed him, anyway. His funeral was something of a rock star's. Really crowded. Seems like he had a few criminal fan clubs. That asshole. Too bad you had to get in the way of our plans. Huh? Ah, well, what the hell. Let me ask you a question be on our way. Have you received any kind of proposal from the Soviets? Are you a communist? Because you sure as hell smell like one. No, I'm not a communist, dude. I don't know shit about the Soviets. What the hell is going on? Well, do you know anyone at all that has been in contact with the Soviets? Perhaps your shady friend? No, dude. I don't think so. Eh. All right. You seem to be telling the truth. Well, that's it, Mr. Knife Leopard. Thank you for your cooperation. Uh, we hope to be hearing from you soon enough. We'll keep an eye out for you, just in case. Don't do anything you wouldn't do in front of your mother. Killer! Let's leave the hillbilly alone. Whenever I wake and see your dumb face, I ask myself, where the hell did I take the wrong road? You're a poet, wizard. Maybe a songwriter. You should give it a try. I'd rather break a guitar on your neck. The hospital called, said the kiddo is good to go. That's great. Damn right it is. I'm tired of being around you all day. 
Your stupidness is starting to rub off on me. I need some brains around here. I don't think Z will be coming today. I was talking about the kid. You shut your trap and let's go get him. Sir, could you please put out your cigarette? I can't. It's eternal. The patient is still under observation. You should refrain from any physical endeavors and avoid situations of stress. May I remind you, your friend has been punched several times by a three-ton giant metal hand. It is the equivalent of surviving a sequence of several car crashes. That's how stupid this sport is. Don't get him back in there anytime soon. Never is the optimal choice. How are you, kiddo? Great. The dizziness is worn off. I think I'm good to go. I'd like to get back to training as soon as. Hold your horses, kid. You heard the doc. Let's take it slow for a while. You may even use this time to get used to the idea of selling that robot and cashing in. Not gonna happen, dude. <sighs> okay, let's get back to the hangar. You go ahead. I need some fresh air.